to the last stream of the year. How are you guys doing today? So this is gonna be a quick one because I need to go out. So I can't stay here literally all day. But yeah, I just wanted to conclude this 2023 with a bang. So, and wishing you guys all well. Yeah, so just a little treat, the last stream of the year. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the coins that I'm looking to accumulate for the next year. I'm gonna review some of your picks, all the usual stuff. How are you guys feeling today? Is it already 2024 in, in your place? I hope not. Otherwise, you should probably be doing something else right now. But um, yeah, here is 5 p.m. So yeah, we're maybe gonna keep it like shorter than usual. I mean, of course, but who we got already? Ben, what's up, my friend? What's up? How you doing? Brian, can we be here for the entire stream? Thanks so much, man. Thank you, Brian. Um, happy New Year to you. Um, I am in 2023. It's just the afternoon here in the UK. So, yeah, I'm just going to be like here for like 30 minutes and then I'm going to be off celebrating. Um, what about yourself? I think you're in America, right? US. Okay, so you probably guys saw my video that I posted, I think yesterday. It's actually performing quite well so you probably have seen this but the top five crypto that i'm buying in january okay and they're right here so main layer oak token miria souls and what's the other one i think area area is the other one so absolutely i think that guys it's gonna be such a crazy year for crypto because we have the bitcoin etf approval in just 10 days really which is which is mind-blowing to me because this is going to dictate how the bull run is going to start not necessarily when it's going to start because the start is going to be in april regardless but it's going to dictate you know if we're going to see a correction right away or if we're going to see a pump before we actually have like a perhaps major correction in before april when the actual bull run begins and don't trust anyone else that tells you that the bull run starts now or it started already that is absolutely not the case okay that follows the four-year bitcoin halving cycle but we're definitely seeing a very green month the, this last few months and uh, the meme coin frenzy is just like it's insane still so i do expect it to cool off a little bit maybe we're gonna accumulate more maybe we don't know like maybe the etf gets approved and everything goes crazy so we still don't know but definitely exciting times ahead definitely exciting times ahead just woke up yeah nice nice man nice man thanks man so this is one of the um prom coins <laughs> industry adult industry stuff like that so yeah i don't know if i can literally even mention this without getting monetized so i'm not gonna mention it but uh let's see actually how is it going there it has potential for sure and actually i was surprised i think that the team is actually doxed which is not what i would be expecting for a coin like this wow what happened to this who hurt you <laughs> 53% in one day. Oh my god, dude. It's pretty crazy. I don't know what happened to this. I don't know. Um, I might consider it in the future, but this is gonna really struggle to get into any sort of like centralized exchanges so just because of like the nature of the business. Now, I'm not saying that this is not gonna pump. This is actually probably gonna pump, especially if they get like real personalities and uh, models that have like social media presence and everything. Like, I do think that this is gonna perform quite well, but. Um, like it's gonna struggle like it's not gonna get into like centralized exchanges in my opinion it's still gonna be like on dexes so the volume is gonna be what it is um so yeah i don't know i don't know but it, it definitely has potential definitely has potential also worries me a little because even with this massive increase the the daily volume is very low very very low like it's five percent with a 360 percent increase um in the last 24 hours so the daily volume of this is basically non-existent so that is not a good sign I don't know, man. A lot of flags. Let's go, Don. What's up? Wham. I'm not a fan of Wham, man. Getting out of Lime Wire into Arion. Do you think that's smart? Super Euro, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, I wish you a great 2024. 
So LimeWire, I'm not really a fan, so I would honestly not keep that in my portfolio. Arian, I mentioned that in um, in the list of like um, the top five crypto for January that I posted yesterday, by the way. You can have a look if you haven't looked at the video already. Um, I do think that area is definitely in a good buying zone. Like it's been struggling for a bit. So you want to kind of like go against the grain, guys. Like sometimes you just want to do exactly the opposite of what other, all these other people are doing. And this is like 12 cents to me is cr incredibly undervalued for this coin, especially for all of the things that they're building. They have a very serious team and a lot of you guys ask me if it's docs or not. Yes, it is docs. And one, the founders actually worked uh, during the ICO in Ethereum. So it's, it's people that have a lot to lose and they're not here to rock people, at least in my opinion. And um, one of the things that I was mentioning is, uh, well, they have very few exchange listing. And guess what? They're going to launch their own decentralized exchange very, very soon in Q1 2024. So that is very bullish news. Yes, it was pretty much a sell, a sell the news kind of thing. Because, yeah, when the announcement t took place, everybody was expecting something better. Something like... Um, a, a tier one exchange listing or um you know the transition to the mainnet because this is still on bnb however this might be bearish in the short term but in the long term it's actually gonna have a lot of potential so guys i do think that there's a lot of potential coming from this coin there's a the team is very active even on x like they're they're posting a lot of stuff um what were they saying i think they made a clarification as well on uh yeah so mainnet approaches in Q1, so they confirmed it. Again, they reminded how they're going to migrate. So apparently they're going to be transitioning the, um, the tokens from uh, the BNB chain into area mainnet on a one-to-one -one basis, and you don't need to do anything. That's definitely good to say because, um, you know, sometimes these things can get problematic. But guys, as a recap, this is going to perform very, very well. In my opinion, is this where we're next already? Can you please give me a follow? Like, we really appreciate, we really appreciate. And if you guys, if you guys haven't watched the M A M A with Souls, it's reposted even here. You can have a look. So, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I mean, good stuff I had for my picks. What the hell can I say, man? Oh my god, this is gonna be such a fire 2024. And also, can we talk about the fact that I'm basically about to hit the 5k subs? Oh my god, I am so freaking close. Can we get to 5k by the beginning of 2024? That would be insane. That would be insane. Like, wow, man. I'm, I'm mind blown. Happy New Year, Nick. If, you, if it's already New Year in your world. <laughs> 1.2 million Caspa. 1.2 million Hello. 1.2 million Caspa? Wow, that's a lot, man. 1.2 million Hello. Jiva Lulabs. You have 75 grand on the side. That's a good sum. Would you DCA in the coin? Uh, Nick, I would definitely... I mean, you definitely have a higher budget than most individuals probably that even watch this channel. So um, 1.2 million Caspa is already going to give you like financial freedom, in my opinion. Um, like if it follows like some of my price prediction of like $4, $5, whatever, you, you're going to sit on like r stacks and stacks and stacks. Like for real. So... In my opinion, I would. You have big bags already. I don't think it's worth it to keep DCAing into this, given that you have such high allocations already. I think that you should find a little, a few more projects. Okay, I think that if you stay in the like ten to fifteen project range, I think I think it's healthy. Um, so I would definitely recommend you, if, especially if you have that budget, definitely join the Patreon, man. I'm, I'm gonna be able to help you like personally on this. But um, definitely some of my ga extra gaming picks, you could try something that is a little more high risk. Because at the end of the day, GFAL, I don't consider that as a risk investment. Miria, relatively. Um, and Lit Labs is probably the only one that is a bit risky, but I see a lot of potential that is in Lit Lab. In, in indeed, is like one of my top picks. But I would definitely recommend something like, um, let's see, let's see, let's see the list. Let's see the list. I would definitely say me layer. I definitely think that you need some kind of like layer two solution, whether Neon or uh, me layer. I mean, Neon is not going to do realistically 100x from here. Me and my patients are already like a 10x, I think, from Neon. 
so we basically just need another 10x to do 100x which is nuts but it could it could even do like a, maybe a 50x from here so maybe it's worth it if you want to just like diversify your risk a little bit but main layer is probably like the layer two scaling solution that we recommend in this very moment if you're looking for like the best um trade-off in terms of risk to reward souls um and other gaming picks let's say i think uh, oh yeah this this is le uh, old so elda definitely goes into the honorable mentions right here elda something that can give you like a big buck because it's still like very very little very very small the market cap what's the market cap of elda guys we're still like below 2 million until we're like in the 1 million something territory this can give you like 100x or plus so absolutely something to consider uh yeah man i hope to see you in the page so i can actually help you more in detail but thanks so much for following oh another comment about elda 1000x i mean it's possible i mean i'm not gonna be like super moon boy oh yeah 1000x for sure but it is possible like technically like he, he would have to go to like a billion in market cap I, I don't think it's impossible if they aim to build like a universe um with like multiple games a metaverse they have a lot of stuff actually i've made like a very detailed analysis of all the projects that like the the mother company or this project has and um i don't see uh, like as out of the equation to do like crazy multipliers but i don't want to be a moon boy and for now i'm just going to stick to like it's probably going to do 100x but it could do way more than that but let's just be a little more conservative and guys some of you asked me like uh, where you can buy this you can buy this on bybit and um pancake swap and uh by the way guys i just got a partnership with bybit i'm announcing it right now so i actually will post from today in each one of our videos there's going to be a referral link for bybit unfortunately you can't use it if you uh, kyc with the uh, iuk id fortunately i can because um i'm italian <laughs> but still if you can use bybit um, yeah, it's the only centralized exchange in which you can buy Elda. So unless you want to use PancakeSwap, and I don't recommend using DEXs because of the fees, if you can have a choice, definitely use Bybit. And uh, yeah, my referral link in the description will give you some uh, bonuses in terms of deposit and some welcome packs. So let me know if you've used my referral and uh, I'll thank personally thank you. What do I think of Cubic? So Cubic is, in my opinion, not a great project. It's it's been founded by uh, a guy that is an absolute prick. That I basically got in a Twitter beef because I made some critiques about that project, and this guy wasn't even able to debate me. It was just like, oh, uh, you're uh, the destroyer of words, like shut up. stupid. And this guy was the guy that uh, founded IOTA, so I think that says a lot um the sup the maximum supply is one quintillion which if you don't know what that is is 1000 trillion or maybe i don't know what that is because it's just outrageous and it seems like the tokenomics are made by somebody living in somebody's basement it's absolutely terrible um it's shielded by a lot of like scammer influencers on the x space so i would definitely stay away my friend i'm trying to save you some money it, it could pump by all means but it doesn't change the fact that that it's a scam <laughs> music was the top all day but now elden souls are <laughs> you know what i had the same with neon like neon was very little on my portfolio and uh, it might have even overtaken miria which is nuts to me um yeah i'm not gonna give exactly the same the my exact portfolio locations because of course that is an exclusive of my patron but um yeah, Mirror is still up there for me, but Souls, Souls is really picking up. Souls is really picking up. Uh, Muzaffer. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of Myro. I'm not a fan of meme coins. If you, if you, if you're in my Patreon, you see that I don't really trade meme coins. I have like a few. I used to have like a few, but it's just a matter of getting to get out. A lot of people are just like, oh, now yotoshi like yotoshi uh, as the bottom like and then you look at this let's see how it's doing actually that could be a good example to make it's not even there anymore okay so this is a clear example of a rug okay this is a rug like literally guys i'm sorry to break it to you but this is literally a rug now i don't know if you can see because maybe i need to um can i zoom from okay this is literally a rug 
like there there's some people in my Patreon which no disrespect I'm just giving you my own opinion but do you think that this is a good buying zone or do you think it's a rug like let me know down in the comments because to me it's a clear rug some people made profit and I know some people that actually made profit out of this and they bought the bottom right here and they sold the tops but um, this rugged like it's over it's game over this is game over and this is eventually gonna happen for all the meme coins eventually maybe not doge because it's got like an actual community and elon musk can just pump that to mars if he wants to but 99.9 percent .9 of bitcoin of uh, bitcoin what the fuck am i saying i'm drunk already for new years 99.9 <laughs> percent .9 of meme coins are gonna rug so i do expect the same to happen for bonk i do expect this to happen for myro it's gonna pump and then it's gonna fall into the unknown so you could perhaps make some money but then you need to get out at the very right moment unless you're gonna get literally rugged so for me it's not any different than a casino because think about it there's a saying that if you go gamble at a casino like you can make some money but then if you stay in the casino for more than a tot number of hours which i don't remember on the top of my head you're eventually gonna lose like it's literally 100 probability and this is exactly the same shit with meme coins if you stay this here for long enough you're gonna be absolutely rugged like there's no other way so don't buy now because this is not gonna recover this is going to zero so i'm not gonna give financial advice you do whatever you want again but i don't feel sorry for you if you lose all your money by investing right now like this is I'm, I'm trying to literally help you guys like i have no interest in shilling coins or uh, i don't do paid promotion i don't do any of that i don't you know i just uh put to your radar like the, the things that i invest in myself and the things that interest me this i'm just literally giving you my own thoughts and i i've seen people lose like so much freaking money to this and uh when is enough is enough in my opinion so i hope that you can be a little you guys can all be a little smarter in 2024. I told my brother, don't think you're gonna pump after two days, it pumped heavily, but he didn't buy. Can I wait for a correction? Uh, that's a good question, Tamiz. So, first of all, if you were in my Patreon, you would have bought this when it was like one cent. So you would be like, well, 5X? You would be at 5X right now, okay? And I knew that this was gonna pump. I've been telling my Patreon since the end of October, okay? And, I'm, and there's literally proof like you can check in the moonshot watch list you can check in the um in the buy alert that i sent you can check in the video that i've made which i made the video after i uh, put in that to the patreon guys so i don't think that this is the best time to buy otk Let, let's be frank like the market cap is 13 million when i was buying it was less, less than 2 million okay but it pumped a lot and came back a little down well not that much really i don't know i think that i we're not gonna see one cent again will we we're not gonna see the two or three cents probably maybe the three but debatable instead of like missing out and be like or do whatever i would just simply start dcaing so just put very small amounts and then if it drops again you buy more that's it and you bring down your uh your uh, your average entry for this coin but it's got a lot of potential it's gonna pump to the moon it's i think it, this is easily gonna go to one billion to be completely honest in terms of market cap this is this is gonna do extremely well um it's probably the best game aggregator um project for like mobile games it's one of the best reviewed and most downloaded games in um in the google play store when it comes to blockchain gaming so you can have a look right here let's see if i can find it yeah actually look at this shit 4.7 stars out of 55k reviews 1 million plus downloads this is such a freaking gem guys and people are really gonna miss the boat on this like the website is great i love it, it kind of reminds me of like 90s arcade and what makes me so bullish as i said before guys is the gold reward system so essentially they other than the crypto that you're gonna be earning it's like the classic play to earn thing like you're also gonna get like uh loyalty points and you're gonna be able to redeem it for like real world prices in the real world so that definitely makes me bullish a lot of good stuff so start dca now and um bring your entry down if um 
it, it drops. That's what I would do personally. But I would have gone into my Patreon and you'd be a 5 or 6x. What's up, Bernie? Uh, lots of the games that OTK made are for blue chip NFT projects on Solana. The Kid Dragon game was made. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, that's bullish. Okay. And just the fact that it's built on Solana, guys, this is this project is just gonna make millionaires just because of the fact that it's on Solana. That, that's all I'm saying because it says a lot. Like Solana is gonna have such a freaking run, okay? Solana is gonna have such a freaking run, and everything that is built on Solana is gonna follow. I've also reviewed other projects on Solana on my channel, and I have I think like another two or three that are in my secret watch list in the Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff. Uh, Yusufi, would you suggest a uh, coin that has not pumped yet? I mean, the coins that are really not pumped yet, there's um, one coin in particular, I think two. Two coins that are in my Patreon. So if you get access to the Patreon, you'll be able to see it. I can't bring you like projects that are just like insider info for now. So I'm going to talk about them in, in the YouTube, in your YouTube, of course, but I'm going to bring them to the Patreon first. So yeah, the, that the question that you asked just answered it, it, itself. I want to buy grape, but I don't have my tension wallet and it's on pancake swap. Uh bro, I mean you can buy grape on um on so many freaking places. Like why do you, are you waiting for a dex? Like you can buy on Bybit. Yeah, you can use my referral link and you'll get an extra bonus. Um you can use BigGet, you can use KuCoin. There's literally three centralized exchanges right here. Now, if you're based in the US, you probably can't use any of these because uh they require KYC um yeah so yeah so if you're based in the us then yes you're excused um but you don't need a tangent just put some um, usdt or uh, bnb on a on a wallet that supports bnb and you're just gonna be able to use pancake swap or if you have like ethereum or metamask just buy with uniswap i mean um yeah i, I don't see the issue my friend just use a hot wallet and also i would not recommend using a tangent for um using dApps like for me i i use my dApps when uh we like hot wallets and i put the funds whenever i need them for a transaction and then i put it into the tangent i don't connect my tangent to external apps i'm not a believer on that look what happened with uh, ledger now i'm not saying the tangent has security issues for the moment but you never know uh as much as i love tangent i i would rather avoid and i just put them i would put them in a hot wallet whenever i need for a transaction make the transaction and then send to my cold storage and um, to this point, guys, wait, let me just bring, if you guys don't know, I'm an affiliate of Tangem, so I'm actually going to bring up the thing on the screen. Where is it? I can't even find it. Okay, I found it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so if you guys don't know, I'm an affiliate of Tangem. The link down in the description is automat will automatically apply Cipro for 10% off. And yeah, let me know if you guys have used my code. It's a big discount. And Tangem, I have one key as well, but I think the Tangem is very superior, to be completely honest. <laughs> yeah. It's, I use it for like 99% of my crypto. And I even recommend getting like multiple ones because of the simple fact that uh, you want to diversify your wallet addresses and all that kind of stuff. I, LCX. Um... What was this again? I don't even remember what this was. I don't even remember what this was, to be completely honest with you. I'm sure that I had a look in the past, but I don't have a strong opinion, my friend. Like, I just, I just haven't looked at this in, like, ages. Uh, gamey. So, bro, to be completely honest, like a lot of people have asked me, you don't support gamey, and I'm like, I never did. What's wrong with you? Like, I was in a stream with UX Crypto, and he was talking about gamey because he likes it, but I don't particularly like it. Um, I think it's old. Yeah, they have like very good partnerships, but I don't know. I don't know. And that that's not the kind of the style of projects that I invest in just because of the fact that it's old and I have so many new gems that are going to pump more than this. 
yeah, it's very small in market cap, but to be completely honest, the chart looks um, ex like extreme shit. I don't think it's worth my time, but by all means, it could pump. But I think that my projects are just superior to stuff like this. Black Ship, I'm from Archetypes Group. Much respect, brother. I'm here to support other site creators. Thank you, man. Thank you. And Archetype, definitely another guy that uh, I recommend. Great guy. I collabed with him a few times. Baju. What's Baju? Baju. Bajun? What name is that? Holy shit. Now that's a green candle. Five million. Gate and Maxi. That's nice. Wait, did I read this right? We'll operate on the Kuzama part chain. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm already done by looking at that. Kuzama? Is, is Kuzama still a thing? Is this still going? Wow, this project is so dead, guys. It actually popped a little. Now, this project... This is literally a project that, in my opinion, is going to go to zero. I don't know if, like, this bull run or whatever, but this project is going to go to zero. Use my referral code for Tangent Mika. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, let me know how you get on. Um, I definitely recommend Tangent. As I said before, guys, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So let me know how you get on, Mika. Thank you so much again. I much appreciate it. Nozana? What's wrong with Nosana? Do I put it? Did I put it in like here somewhere? Simple voice. To be completely honest, this is I don't remember why I put it there. Like I review like hundreds of projects almost on a daily basis, so uh, I can't tell you uh, why. But it's not in the scam, so I don't think it's a scam. But I put it there because it probably didn't call my attention. I'm sorry, uh, bro. Eldarune is the best? I don't know, my friend. Like, Eldarune is good, but I do think that, like, stuff like OTK, Myria, Little Up Games are better. But Eldarune, uh, I mean, very good. I'm really growing on it. Um, and also, guys, somebody was asking me, oh, you don't support Souls anymore? That's shit. That's bullshit, guys. I like Souls, but I also think that Eldarune is very, is very legit. Like, they have so many things building. Like, make sure to watch my video if you haven't already, because I went through, like, all the details of... All the projects that are uh, involved with that crypto. And guys, there's so much. Lots of potential. All these memes are rugs. Exactly. So if you stay long enough in that meme, you're going to get rugged. Like, there's no nice way to say it. But some people just don't know any better. And, uh, you know, some people think that this is a good entry. But they don't understand that it's going to go to zero. Like, just because something is so down from all-time high doesn't mean that it's going to recover. Because this is this is not recovering, unfortunately. This is just literally going to zero. So, save yourself some money, guys. I do agree. It's literally worse than trading with leverage. Like, I don't do futures and crazy leverage. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed if somebody wants to, like, um, do leverage of, like, something like 5 or 10x max. But, dude, I've seen some people doing, like, 50x leverage, even 100x leverage on gambling casinos. Like, literally, you can liquidate yourself for millions in, like, a second. Uh, Interlay is decent, but I'm not a massive fan because it's built on Polkadot. And um, uh, it, it's another kind of project, kind of like Min Layer or Mubi. It's kind of like in that sphere. I think more comparable to Mubi because I think it's a bridge. But... Who cares about Polkadot to BRC? Like, I don't think it's a good enough unless they have like some serious integrations. Plus, the roadmap is like uh, super dated. I think they haven't updated that in two years. So, uh, I think it's dead, to be honest. It, it could be decent. On the card is such a good project. And actually, I was considering buying myself. But then I saw like a bit of the roadmap, and they're not really doing much, at least that they are saying maybe they're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes they're not updating anyone and then it's gonna skyrocket to the moon but i don't know bro carrot yeah uh alaska gold rush 
good project. Uh, they announced um, they've been like incubated in, in incubate. Is that a word? Incubated into like the Neo Tokyo network. So it's gonna do well. Elder on all the way. Yes. Oh, that's sick, man. Yeah, keep DCAing. Thank you so much for following along. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I wish you a very nice 2024. Bro! <laughs> I love that all of these... There's so many people that have... Like, ICP is performing well this month. I'm not going to deny it. But... The problem that I have is that this is not going to go to an all-time high. I don't care that this went like 3x. I mean, I do a 3x with literally like all of my new picks in my portfolio. This chart looks outrageous. It's listed on the, all the tier 1 exchanges. It, it basically rugged. I The technology is amazing. I think ICP is one of the best techs that is out there, but... On a monetary standpoint, this is not a good investment. Like, wh what do you think? That this is going to go to $400 or even $100? I think that from here, perhaps it's going to do like a 5x in a, in a bull run. Maybe a 5x from here. I think it's realistic. I don't think it's going to pass to the $100. So do you guys think that it's a good investment? I don't think so. But nothing to describe the technology. The technology is amazing. But I'm here to make a fucking shitload of money. I'm not here to just invest in the best tech that is out there. You know, I just want to make freaking money, dude. Where I started playing PCP. Oh, nice. OTK games are awesome and I'm winning there some tokens. That's great. That's great to hear because I mean, I haven't done that to like earn tokens, but it's good. It's good. So I think you're Indian as well. So, um, that's what I was saying for PCP that all the team is Indian. So if they're actually able to like get into that market, it's such an untapped opportunity for like a gaming project. They're going to be uh, able to like make literally millionaires with, with PCP. Um, it's going to do very well. I do think that o OTK is best is better than PCP. And um, I think they are similar in market cap right now, which I find very funny because PCP was so much bigger. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. I mean, if I was to invest today, I would still buy OTK that is closer to the top than uh, PCP because I think that OTK is better and it's built on Solana as well. So I do think that OTK is, mu is just much better. But anyway. Feliz Año Nuevo. A ti también. What do you think about one token? I already discussed. Trezor is okay. Trezor is okay by any means, but I do think that... Um, I don't really like the UI of Trezor. I think that the UI of Tangem, in terms of like UI guys, like Tangem is by far the best wallet. And uh, it's also like more convenient. Like Trezor, you need to charge it. You need to connect it. It has like a display, blah, blah, blah. Here you use the display on your phone. You use your phone as an NFC reader. It's much faster. I can bring the cards with me on on my physical wallet and then just drop it and make a transaction on the go if I'm traveling and I don't have to just carry that. Um, yeah, I, I think the tangent is just superior in so many ways. And also, I like the option of going without a seed phrase. Like, I don't set up my, my wallets without a, with a seed phrase because, um, you know, I, I want to be as safe as possible. So that's what I do. Like if somebody steals your seed phrase, if if you have it on a piece of paper and then you lose it or it deteriorates after 10 years and, uh, you know, you didn't like uh, back it up anywhere else, you lose access to your funds. Like with the tangent, you have none of that problem and you have 25 year of warranty on the cards. Cave. I haven't heard of this. I don't think so. Crypto Caveman Club? What? This is so down from all time high. This is basically a rug pull, man. Happy New Year, Thiago. Thank you so much to you too. Wishing you a very prosperous 2024. And to all these people watching this channel, a big shout out to you. This is not going to be a super long stream, so I'm going to quit it um, shortly. But thank you so much, guys. It really means the world to just spend some time on your New Year's Eve with me. Happy New Year to you too, Said. PCP, OTK, area, lit, G file, cast, so uh, you put cast twice. How many extra should I expect? 
I mean, bro, it depends on like how, many, how much money you have, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, like uh, how much percentage you have allocated to each one, but you're definitely in there for like serious, serious gains, like hundred percent. You have. I, I like all of your picks. Like, so you clearly watch my channel. That's great stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to join the Patreon, I'll help you further with like, pers like exact percentages, what I would do with my own money. But absolutely, like you'll do great, man. Is Cap a rock pull? I think the Cap is a rock pull. Yeah. Sorry to break it to you guys, but I think this project is, has turned to shit. I was like, it seems decent. I, w I was investigating this after the, the first pump, and I actually was eyeing this project before it pumped. But then I was like, uh, people are so greedy. They all took profits. I don't think that this is going to recover. Honestly, I think that all of my picks are superior. I told my patrons, like, after the pump and stuff, I was like, this doesn't have a future, in my opinion. And guess what? And I told my patrons when it was, like, 20-something, I think when it was 25, my patrons asking, I was like, I, I wouldn't hold it. And guess what? Right now we are more than uh, 2x down. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it's going to do anything. Happy New Year to you too, man. 2024 is going to be our year. Mine, my patrons, my YouTube community, it's going to be our year. It's the start of the bull run. Guys, if that doesn't make you excited, I don't know what. I don't know what to say to you if that doesn't make you excited. I don't like one. Stop asking me, folks. Jana, I check it's, uh, it's a scam. Chana Energy, what's up? Oh. <laughs> Fink. Larry Fink of Black Rock meme. <laughs> No. no. Oh my God! Is is it? Can I see it somewhere? <laughs> Look at the week. <laughs> oh my God! It's a rock pool. Oh my! What is this? It doesn't matter what you think. Next up, 10 million? Probably very soon, my friend. For sure. Cap stinks. Yeah. Yeah. Stay away from Cap and, uh, and Cat. Yeah, I, I also think that Cat... Cat uh, both Cap and Cat have been heavily downgraded. Heavily downgraded. I don't recommend them to anyone in my Patreon right now. Uh, they've been heavily downgraded. Cat is basically a project that is running on bots. There's bots everywhere for that project. Same for like Sinverse. Um, there was a, a couple of new ones that, bro, like yeah, it, it's trash. It's trash. OTK, really good project. Oh, sorry, did I miss part of your comment? I don't see, man. Oh, sorry, bro. I, I completely didn't read this. Let me have a look. Blastro. What's the... I can't find it, bro. If you uh, give me the ticker, I'll have a look. Elder Souls OTK Miria. Solid. There's a lot of fans of Elder Room. Good to see. Yeah, yeah, 100%, bro. 100%. But uh, the fact is that... The fact that they're... Uh, I always say this. I always say... I don't know if you're new to my channel, but... The fact that they're copies of popular games that exist already... It's actually very bullish stuff. Because it means that they're addictive. They're proven to work. So... They basically copy stuff that works because it works. And it's gonna work. And you're gonna get remuneration you're gonna get crypto you're gonna with otk you have the double reward system so you not not only you get crypto you're also gonna get the golds the loyalty points that you're gonna be able to redeem in the real world so yeah so many good things guys yeah so if if elder goes to 1000x it's 1 billion in mc it's possible hard but possible 
Uh, I don't like the Lysium. What? Bow. Bow's Inu? What? Blast. New game of Maxi. Is it this one? I don't know which one that is, bro. I don't know. Which one is it? <sighs> Smart money. 100, uh, 100 uh, bucks. Which better to invest between Lilab and Mill Layer? Let's see. I do think that they can give you like very similar gains from the today's prices. So lit, I, I've said it so many times that I'm sick of saying that, but lit below four cents to me is, is literally such a major discount. Whereas min layer, even min layer at this price, to be honest, I, I would do half and half. No financial advice, just like my own take, but absolutely bro like this is this is gonna be like so bullish so bullish like me layer is definitely one of the picks that i would focus on dca in the most right now just because of the fact that regardless of bitcoin approval or not in terms of etf like there's gonna be so much more volatility and daily trading volume in terms of bitcoin that regardless of anything like a scaling solution like min layer is needed because the network is going to get congested. So mean layer offers a solution of the, of the Bitcoin network getting congested. So hundred percent, bro. I haven't heard this. Mines of Dorania. My God. Can, can people even come up with worse names than this? Dalarnia. I mean, bro, it's old, it's old, and the chart looks like crap. Nah, I would, I wouldn't touch. Uh, BK gets some money. That's a very good question. Should I have all my money invested right now, or have some on reserve? Absolutely, reserve. Absolutely, absolutely. At least, I would say twenty percent of your portfolio should be outside of your portfolio allocation and be in uh, avail liquidity that you have to invest or USDT, because some of the best projects are actually going to be born during the bull run, and uh, the people that are in my patrons are going to be find out about that first. Because guys, there so many new projects are actually going to be born during twenty twenty four or even during 2025 and those are the, the projects that are going to do multiple hundred x's or even thousand x etc etc so you don't want to put all of your investments right now because most of those projects guys like some of the best projects are literally like my top five other than caspa and probably Lilab or miria all of the other projects could literally go and be like substituted by better entries so you definitely got, want to be liquid like all of the times you should have some liquidity on the side like 100 percent. that is not even up for debate and guys of course people in my patreon are gonna find out about that first my god we're almost like 200 paid members it's crazy dude i opened this not even two months ago and people keep like there's so many people it's growing so fast and i'm proud to say that in my opinion i have one of the best groups in crypto right now like 100 percent not even questioning it all my buying sellers you see my proven track record and i have I think around three new gems that you're gonna find out right now if you join the Patreon. Private live streams, I'm doing them every month, every Tuesday, sorry. Every Tuesday I'm doing private live streams. You're gonna be seeing my portfolio locations. You're gonna be able to send me your, my, your portfolio for review. And if you prefer to pay in crypto for lifetime access, just shoot me an email right there. And uh, I'll hit you up with a crazy discount, which I'm still running for very very shortly it's the end of the year discount for the lifetime access guys it's not gonna last long you want to get in now before it gets expensive and you want to join a community 
of investors. So you're going to be able to push each other up. Everybody's going to share some alpha as well. Guys, you want to be in a community. You don't want to be a lone wolf. You could have like once in a lifetime opportunity this bull run to make generational wealth. You don't want to fuck it up. Okay. Yes, William. Very good, very good moment to buy Little Up Games. I think that Little Up below 4 cents is just a steal. It can do 100x and plus. Yeah, Wagmi is uh, in my honorable mentions, if you if you can see right here. Um, I know that it just like pump up and down. It just went like up and down like a lot. But well, could even be a decent buying zone. I think, yeah, it's decent. The supply is a bit like, uh, what is it like? Two, tr two trillion, two hundred billion. Like that's a big supply. Um, so yeah, not a fan of that. Not a fan of the exchanges situation. Like there's not even a Maxi or a, a Q coin gate. Oh, there's Gate.io. So fair enough, but. Yeah, they could put more stuff. I swap for Elder, but it doesn't show in my rainbow wallet. Oh, bro, I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you there. Do they have, like, some kind of support? Maybe that you can reach out? I mean, if you did, like, everything right, I'm sure that you're going to be able to figure it out. Um... Yeah, I really don't. I'm. I haven't used that wallet, so I'm not sure how to help you. But I hope that you that you're able to like figure it out. It's probably an easy fix. Uh, the game launched and performing well in stores. Also, game is good. Okay, I'll um, I'll consider it then. And happy New Year! Is it is it almost New Year or New Year already in India? I don't know. I'm terrible at part time zones, but happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much for following my journey. That's much appreciated. I wish you like a fantastic 2024. Bolsonaro. But can I find this shit? Yeah, I don't know where to find it anyway. So it's another meme like Kokino. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, first of all. Uh, bro, there's like the link uh, down in the description for um, for the Patreon. Like, look at here. Like, join my Patreon. Just, you just click on there and you'll be able to join the Patreon. And by the way, guys, pump up the likes for the last stream of the year. Guys, there's only 40 likes. There's 140 of you people watching. And there's only 40 likes. Can you please pump the likes up? I would really appreciate it. That maybe is going to help me get to 5k subs by the new year. That would be nuts. So please help me out. That really would help me a lot. Uh, what was I reading? Oh, yeah. What type of game will do better in the bull run? Top graphics or gaming? Pla That's a very good question. So... I do think that it's not black or white. I do think that the games that are going to allow players to make more tokens and make more passive income, it's not really passive though, is it? Are going to be able to make more money. So, in my opinion, I do think that stuff like OTK is generally the winner. I think that those are generally the winner because those allow like a more seamless experience for like earning tokens especially for something like otk that has a double reward system and that's why it's probably gonna be in my top five for the foreseeable and also you need to think that also elden shrapnel i wouldn't put them on the same page because shrapnel shrapnel might be the best game in web3 at least on the card because it's not released for the moment but Shrapnel is just a single game. Elda is one main game, but there's a lot of games. Even something like Souls, there's a lot of games in the ecosystem, right? So, it's hard to say, but I, I hope that I gave you some valuable insights out of my response. Watch the AMA with 
the ghosty founder. Okay. The truck founder are creating a whole Bitcoin DeFi system around top and ghosty. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. Like, I am bullish, but I'm more bullish on other stuff because it's still like speculation. It's still like speculation. So I would take it with a pinch of salt. I think that it's very good for short-term returns. And by the way, Ghosty, didn't that rug? I mean, I don't want to say that this rugged, but this is not a good chart. <laughs> this is not a good chart. I don't know what else to say, but I mean, on the concept, it sounds nice. Plus, come on, guys, what the hell? Like, there's not a, like a, a decent exchange listing for this. Like, Unisat and OKX order, okay, but there's not even uh, anything else. I don't know. If he gets like a maxi listing, maybe it's gonna pump, but. Um, Dex Toro. Somebody mentioned to me, but I didn't really look at it. It's not even. Well, it's pumping. Well, the chart is great. What is it? I, anyway. The smart contract owner can mint new tokens. <sighs> Unknown taxes. Uh, this sounds dodgy as, well, as fuck. This really sounds dodgy. I don't know. Cocking is great. <laughs> Definitely very memeable. Uh, Elda is in the honorable mentions. It's right here. Well, I can't give you financial advice, my brother, but out of all of this, G Swift, G Swift is okay. Beam is too big. I would pick Bugme. But. I still would pick something like Elda, Souls, Miria even, Lit. Th th those are all better choices. Uh, playable. Playable is much better than Wagme, for sure. I mean, you need to think of what, what it is. Like, Wagme is a single game. Playable is a, a studio with like five or six games. They have like esports potential. They, they give you the opportunity to purchase nodes. Like, they're completely different projects. Playable, can you can compare it with Miria, if anything. Bro, Myro. No. Myro is going to rug. Like, it depends on you if you're going to make money or you're going to get rugged. But Myro is a scam that is going to rug. It's just another dog coin on Solana. They have no utility. It's just like gambling on a casino. You want to get your money? And then you get out of it because it's not an investment for the long term. It's just like a gamble for like short term profits if you're smart enough. I honestly don't touch those coins. I have like I, I do my I do freaking hours and hours every week of research for uh, coins that actually have a real world utility. And, um, you know, you can argue that everything's a Ponzi, everything. But I I'm just going to invest in the things that are less of a Ponzi. Because this is exactly a Ponzi. Smash the freaking like button hard. Come on, guys. At least 100 likes by the end of the stream. We're 58 right now. Come on, guys. Help me out to get those 5k subs. Uh, Baju, I had a look uh, already, and it's a scam. And what is that? Inter interlay? Interlay is decent, but it's built on Polkadot. And I don't think that anybody gives a crap about a bridge between uh, Polkadot and Bitcoin. Like, why? Like, if it was Bitcoin and Ethereum, like Mubi, yes. 
Also, where are some exchanges? I, I understand that it's listed on Kraken, which I'm like, how the fuck does this, this guy listed on Kraken anyway? But there's not even a DEX. Come on, dude. Mid layer. Yes. I told you, bro. Like, ICP is amazing tech. But I'm not here to invest in the tech. I'm here to make money. And ICP, it pumped a, a little already. So if you bought the bottom at like four, you're like a 3x from here. Congrats, you made some money. But I mean, I still made more money buying Casper anyway. I'm 10x. But in it's not going to do more than a 5x at the top of the bull run. Like, buy Bitcoin. <laughs> That's more a better investment than ICP for sure. And also, nobody's going to rug you on, on Bitcoin. But... ICP after the pump is probably gonna fall into the unknown. Uh, it's been downgraded. I think that they're not doing much. Um, I don't. I think it, it pumped a little. But not really. I will stay away. I will stay away. I've seen some sketchy stuff. And um, I think they paid people for pay promotion or something. I don't know. Um, but they they just have bots everywhere. I, I honestly am not going to touch this. I'm not going to touch this. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It is a scam. It is a scam. It's sad, but some people don't realize, so <laughs> whatever. All right, guys, so I'm going to keep it nice and short so that I can actually go out and enjoy my New Year. So wherever you are in the world, I wish to you guys an amazing New Year's. Maybe it's New Year's already by the time you're watching this video or uh, right now. So... Yeah, guys, like, thank you so much for following the stream again. I wish you, like, a very prosperous 2024. And I want to take this chance to just literally just up, um, send you all my appreciation for the support that you've shown me in the last two or three months that I've started this YouTube channel. And I'm already at 5K in not even three months. Like, it blows my mind. The support has been unreal. And um, I'm helping changing the financial investment situation in crypto of so many individuals in the Patreon it really means the world to me. And um, yeah, guys, like I'm, I'm so freaking happy. And uh, it means the world to me if you've been following me this much. And Ben is saying that Casper is not on my list. What are you talking, bro? It's here. It's in the top one. It's not going to change. That, that's probably the only one that, that is not going to change anytime soon. Thank you so much to, to each one of you. Thank you, Trust. Thank you for your continued support and your help in, in the Patreon. Thank, thank you. Thank you to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And guys, um, join the Patreon. That's the whole last thing that I got to say before I shut the fuck up. But seriously, it's going to increase in price in the new year. So you're still early if you've known about this channel. So I would, lo I would love to see you there and help you out. And um, this is my offer for you. Just get in before it gets expensive that's all that i'm gonna say but enough with the plugs enough with the patreon enough with everything i really wish you guys wish you guys like an amazing evening or uh you know a morning if you're still in the morning i wish you guys an amazing end to 2023 let's make 2024 the year that we change the investing journey in crypto for us it's gonna be the start of the bull run that is gonna change the lives of so many of us and uh i I can't be more excited of just embarking in this journey with you guys and uh, helping you out along the way. So I wish you guys happy drinking, happy drinking to everyone. I wish you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I wish you guys an amazing evening and a fantastic start to 2024. Let's fucking get it. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon in 2024. Bye-bye.